Hey Life Kids, welcome to the Holly Jolly Kitchen Week 2. We are baking up something extra special today with today's lesson. Now, I know that we all have things that we're good at doing, right? Like what's your thing that you're really good at doing? Incredible answers. I know we all have those things. But during the Christmas season, we celebrate something that only God can do. And we know that God can do anything. That's right. There is nothing that is impossible for God. Let's go ahead and jump into today's lesson. But first, let's pause and pray. Hi, Life Kids. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for everything you've done for us. I pray that everyone has a wonderful day. Thank you, Life Kids. Bye. How many reindeer are there in the story of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? A, three, B, one, C, nine, D, 10, C, nine. True or false, 
the wise men followed the moon to find Jesus. False, they followed a star. What are Frosty's eyes made out of? A, buttons, B, coal, C, rocks, D, acorns, B, coal. What is the main ingredient in gingerbread cookies? A, ginger, B, flour, C, chocolate, D, sugar, D, sugar. Reese, tell me you know what time it is. It's Christmas time! <laughs> yeah, it's also time to get cooking. So, what's on the menu today? Hit us with that drum roll. Oh! Today's test kitchen challenge <gasps> is called Taste the Cake. Hold up, Taste the Cake? That doesn't sound like a recipe. That's because it's not a recipe. Get yourself ready for some good news. Okay. Instead of cooking various kinds of cakes today, our viewers have actually sent in their own personal cake creations for us to taste. Ta-da! Um, well, this is gonna be interesting. I don't really know if I'm vibing with the idea of trying something from someone else's kitchen. Oh, come on, Graham. Where's your Christmas spirit? I'm all about people sending in their recipe suggestions, but their cakes? I mean, how clean are those cooks? Like, what did they use to wash their hands? Did they use soap and water? Did they use just water? Reese, what if they used olive juice? Olive juice? Who even does that? Graham, I'm sure people are careful when it comes to cleanliness in the kitchen. Well, do you think they're careful enough to clean their countertops before they start? What if they haven't cleaned their oven in years? What if there are gross little creepy crawlers all around their countertops and in their mixing bowls? What if I bite into a spider? A spider, Reese, Reese, a spider. Dude, chill. I'm sure they clean their hands and their kitchens. Now, forget all of that craziness, and let's see what kind of cake this viewer sent in. Is that a red velvet cake? You got it, Graham. Apparently, this viewer used an extra amount of red food coloring to make this cake the color of Santa's suit. But did they use a hairnet? Not just one hairnet. One hairnet is never enough. They need to make sure they use two hairnets. I mean, I'm just trying to make sure there's no hair in there. Oh. Come on, Graham. What are you so afraid of? I'm sure they keep their hair far away from the cake. Here, let's just take a bite. Uh-uh. No way. Oh, no. Come on. Mm -mm. Come on, Graham. No. Not Switch going to. Shoot, the train's pulling into the station. No! You're really gonna be like that. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> this is scrum deadly opposite. Well, I'll just take your word for it. <laughs> um, okay, uh, let's get this over with and see what kind of cake this next viewer sent in. Oh! <laughs> You've got to be kidding me! It's a. Uh, it, it's a fruitcake. Fruitcake? Man, this stuff always makes an appearance at Christmas. Yeah, I can't even look at it. I don't think I've even met anyone who actually eats this stuff, but that's about to change, right? No, nope, no, nope, not for me, I don't think so. I mean, people re-gift this stuff for a reason. It lasts for like, ever. I mean, who even knows how long this thing's been around? For all we know, this could have been around before cars were invented. Hmm. I don't, I don't know. Oh. Oh. You know, I don't even really know what's in fruitcake. I mean, it kind of looks like some cherries. Oh. Pineapple. Or maybe, maybe pickles. Are pickles a fruit? See, now that is a real life problem for me. That fruit may have actually been fruit at one point or another, but that fruit is so old, I think it's older than fossilized dinosaur bones. And don't get me started with what could be growing on it. Oh, come on, man, we owe it to our viewers. What are you so afraid of? I'm terrified of foods when one, I don't have a clue how they're prepared, and two, I don't know what could be in them. I mean, come on, Reese, pickles. You do what you want, Reese, but I'm done. Oh, ginger snap. 
There's a story in the Bible where we see that God can do anything. It's about a young girl who was living in the town of Galilee. Her name was Mary, and she was engaged to a man named Joseph, but they weren't married yet. One day, while Mary was alone, God sent an angel named Gabriel to give her a message. You see, God had something amazing that he wanted to do in Mary's life. The angel said, Greetings, the Lord is with you. You are very special to him. But Mary was very confused about what the angel said. She wondered, what does this mean? Gabriel said, Don't be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you. Then he told her how she would become pregnant and give birth to a son, and that she would name him Jesus. Jesus would be great and be called the Son of the Most High. Mary wondered how she could have a baby when she wasn't even married, but Gabriel explained it all to her. Gabriel said, The Holy Spirit will come to you, and the power of the Most High God will cover you. He went on to tell her that the baby would be holy and be called the Son of God. That wasn't all, though. There was even more good news. Gabriel also told Mary that her cousin Elizabeth was pregnant. Even though Elizabeth was very old, she was going to have a son too, because God can do anything. Mary trusted God and said, I am the servant of the Lord. Let this happen to me as you say. Then, just like that, the angel went away. Mary got up and went quickly to a town close by to see Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary was there, she ran to meet her and said, Mary, God has blessed you more than any other woman, and he has blessed the baby to which you will give birth. When I heard your voice, the baby inside me jumped with joy. You are blessed because you believed that what the Lord said would really happen. It was true. Mary believed God could do anything. Mary began to sing a song praising and thanking God for what he had done. She could have been afraid or worried when the angel gave her this news, but she knew that everything would be just fine because God can do anything. God, thank you for sending your son Jesus so that we can celebrate Christmas. When we're feeling afraid, help us to remember that you can do anything. And thank you for giving us the story of Mary in the Bible to help us see that just like you did a miracle for Mary, you can do anything for us. We love you. Amen. Life Kids, wasn't that an incredible lesson? And it's all about our need to know that God can do anything. Can you repeat that after me? God can do anything, not just some things, but anything. And so I want you to walk away this week knowing that the same way God worked this incredible miracle and for Mary and Joseph with Jesus, he can do the same thing for us. He is always working miracles in our lives. There's nothing that is too hard for him. We cannot wait until week three. So make sure you tune in next week, invite a friend, make sure your parents are watching with you and let's grow together. Okay, we'll see you next week at the Holly Jolly Kitchen. Bye Life Kids.